Welcome to the Nridia Medicare Portal Claim Status Tutorial. The information given in this training is correct at the time of this recording. The most current information contained in this presentation can be found on the Nridia website. Because Claim Status uses the Claims Processing System to retrieve the information, Claim status is only available during the hours of availability in the Contact Us section of the portal. The hours for each jurisdiction are provided on this slide. To begin a claim status inquiry, select Claim Status from the top navigation or Start Inquiry underneath the description. Enter or choose the tax ID, MPI, PTAN and program from the drop down menus. Then enter the Medicare number, first and last name, and date of birth of the claim you are looking to find. To narrow down the search results, additional claim details are optional. If nothing is entered in the claim details, a listing of all claims for the beneficiary will display. A list of claims matching the criteria is displayed. This listing provides the claim number, dates of service, the status, total charges, finalized date, a check or EFT number, the amount the provider was paid, and the options to view claim or view ADR. To view a specific claim, select View Claim. For Part A users, the claim status details will provide additional information pertaining to the claim, which include amount paid, bill type, and primary reason code, among other details. The claim diagnosis codes and pointers are also provided. Then the claim line details are provided. If the claim has more than 15 lines, you can use the page numbers below the claim line details to advance to the next set of claim lines. The claim adjustment reason code with a narrative will provide information on any claim denials. If there was an ADR sent on this claim, the information for that ADR will display as well. For Part B users, the claim status details will provide the referring and rendering NPI, totally deductible, place of service, and MSP information. Diagnosis code and diagnosis pointers are also provided. The bottom portion of the page will provide the claim diagnosis code and pointer details along with the claim line details, which include data service, procedure code, modifier, number of units, diagnosis pointer, build amount, allowed amount, provider paid amount, and the reason code. If the claim has more than 15 lines, you can use the page numbers below the claim line details to advance to the next set of claim lines. A description of each claim adjustment reason code is provided, along with the details if an additional documentation request or ADR has been requested. For GME, the claim status details are very similar. A summary of the claim is provided along with the diagnosis code and pointers and the claim line details, in addition to the claim adjustment reason code and applicable ADR details. If a Part B claim has denied or payment was reduced due to National Correct Coding Initiative edits or pre- or post-operative care following a service that had a global period or a duplicate, information causing this is displayed. Select the Related Claim Details link in the blue header. The Related Claim Details display below the reason code. If the claim had a history of being reviewed for additional documentation, the portal offers a Noridian Comments button in the blue header section. After selecting this option, the claim processing comments will be retrieved and presented under the Reason Codes. There may be a rare occasion where the ability to view comments is offered, however, a comment may not be available. If that situation occurs, contact the Noridian Call Center if you have questions on the final outcome of the process claim. Thank you for completing this tutorial. 